I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to backup key space in Cassandra. So, at here, I'm using our Razor SQL for Cassandra. So, if you like to know how to connect, so you should watch this video how to connect Cassandra with Razor SQL. So, when you are using at here, Razor SQL, here you can find this or key space. So, suppose if I want to Add here, take the backup of some tables. So, going to select add here, S point, add here, this is the tables, right click, and here you can find backup. Now, here, database or key space, it's selected, S point. If you want, then here you can select any other. Now, HR countries, it's fine. If you want, then here you can select any other. Now, here, SQL statement. So let's select our task. Now here, this is add your file encoding. So default it's fine. Now here after backup file, browse, and here after giving country backup. Now here after click on save. So add your on desktop country with the name country backup the file going to generate now here after click on generate backup file the package and backup is complete now here after the next is so idea that i just take the backup of country now let's open with notepad plus plus now here inside countries so this is at here, create table as point. As point is the key space, HR countries. And here after here, by using this, we can create at here, table as our countries. And here this, or records that inserted. So this is the simplest way, we can take the backup here. Now here after, if you want, here right click and here, here you can see backup here row count and here draw and here you can use add here export data also so if you want data so add here hr countries and which format so let's select add here or text format now here after click on next and here browse the destination so i'm giving add here draw now here after click on so let's give add here con file because con already exit save now here after click on next so add here con file here you can see this is the data here department id and here location this all those things here you can see Or if you want here right click on the table so this is where export here you can export the table also single table and here after no query here s point here next let's select this term add here json now here after let's give at here d tab now so this location going to export so add here json cannot be crossed okay it's related with problem with json now here after export table once again here or single here s point employee so this time going to select text here d text file click save next now here it's, it's exported here you can see this all data so this is the way we can take the backup of any table so here the best practice you should select and here right click and here you can use backup or you can do add here copy to local database Okay, you should also try this.
So I think this facility only available for Razor SQL for Cassandra. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.